Well, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to uh, Chelmsford High School, George Simonian Stadium. Tonight's game is between the Lowell Red Raiders and your Chelmsford Lions. And Bill Gillette is your commentator. The game has just begun. Had a little rain as the girls were prepping. Sun's coming out, beautiful evening. So the Lions are coached by Becca Brown with assistant coach Chloe Hutchinson. Your Low Red Raiders, they're coached by Lisa Qatar, assisted by Kathy Muffet, Matt Palmer, and Maggie Moriarty. A lot of familiar names from Lowell. Like to thank the players, particularly the uh, the senior captains, Kate Gillette, Kate McQuaid, Chelsea Cody. Obviously, thanks to the to the coaches that I just named. Of course, the refs, and most importantly, the parents and fans. Lions seem to be controlling the ball down to the low end of the field. Lowell's finally got it in Chelmsford's side of the field. Chelmsford bringing it back up the, uh, the field towards Lowell's end. Pass out front. Emma Boulay in the mix. Shot by number eight, Junior Ingrid Haywood. Bit of a challenge there by number two, Junior Claire O'Neill. Steamy night here at George Simonian Stadium. No well, good defensive playing there from uh, from Kate McQuaid to sophomore Sidney Elto. Getting it back down across the 50 yard line. Sophomore Claire Danahy with a pass over to Emily D on number 12. Oh, shots wide. Chelmsford's coming off uh, an undefeated record at uh, at four and zero. The team is the team is playing well. They're certainly enjoying uh, Becca Brown's new style of play. She's a big CrossFit enthusiast. Getting the girls in shape for sure.
Ball in front, kicked out of bounds. Looks like a corner. Ingrid Hayward's going to bring it back in. Off to Emily Dion. Ball back to Lowell. Chelmsford are able to keep it in the Lowell side of the, the field. Nice pass in front. Oh, I don't know whether that counted or not. That's Junior Riley Mitchell with a shot in the goal, but I don't know if that counted. It doesn't look like it did. Nice stop by Claire Danahy. Just wide. Can Lions seem to be controlling the ball here down the lines and the low end of the field? Emily Dion bringing it up. Nice stop by Kate McQuaid. Pass in the front. Being controlled by Ingrid Hayward. Pass in the front to Emma Boulay. Shots wide. Certainly getting shots on net. Opportunities are there. They need to capitalize on them. Sidney Alto able to keep it in the low end of the field. Okay, McQuay keeps it out of the, the Lions end of the field. Back up to Emma Boulay with a shot down the sideline. Being chased down by Lily Cardone. She's got wheels. Ball in front of the net. Here we go, another corner. Lions clearly controlling the ball. Which is great to see. They had seven seniors that left last year. Many of them in, in offensive scoring positions. It was a nice play. Just wide. Claire Dennehy shot just wide of the net. Claire Danahy in front to Emily Dion. Fighting for the ball. Couldn't get a shot off, but they've got another corner. Third corner of the game. Ball 
Shot by Emily Dion in the front. Stopped by Lowell. Another shot by Emily Dion. Wide. Emily's played in quite a few club tournaments over the summer, as many of the other girls have. Working on her game. Being brought in now by Ingrid Haywood. Lily Cardone passing it right out in the middle of Emma Boulay. Wow, yet another another corner. It's gonna wear the low girls out quick. Oh, that was a nice shot by Claire Danny. He just slightly wide. Lowell's able to try to pass it out of their zone. Being kept in by Claire Danahy. Shot in front. Wow. Fifth corner. Within 15 minutes of the game. But I'll tell you, Chelmsford's got to capitalize on one of these. Pass over to Riley Mitchell. Some good stick handling by the girls. Little ball. Also keeping it right down on Lowell's end. Shot in front by Riley Mitchell. That's another corner. I may need to record that. Good stick handling. Good passing all around. That's too bad. Emma Boulay shot in, not uh, not counted. But yet it's another another corner. Lions playing aggressively. Oops, slight miss there. Picked back up by Kate McQuaid. Kate Gillette with the ball from defense. Bringing it right in, shot in the front. Looks like Kate Gillette's got the captain's flag on. So this is yet another, another corner. That brings the total so far to eight.
Riley Mitchell with some good step work. Well, Sydney Alto able to keep it right down on the low end. Okay, Gillette's got her stick on the ball. Nice pass up to number nine. Clear Danahy. Well, I guess this is good news. Chelmsford's got a new goalie. Olivia Diagostino. She's a sophomore. Certainly getting to see the action without having to take a lot of action. If you're a goalie, that's probably just the way you want it. Chelmsford's actually got a, a very well-balanced team. Along with their three senior captains, there's, there's two other seniors. They've got five juniors and six sophomores. So a third, a third, a third. Really building the bench by Becca Brown, giving some of the younger girls some opportunity to come up and play. Field hockey has done very well at Chelmsford. Emily Dion's pass a little bit long for, for Claire Danahy. Oh, that's a nice stop by Claire Danahy. But I'll tell you, you can feel the heat in the press box. I can't imagine what it's like down on the turf. It's going to wear all the girls out pretty quickly this evening. Lowell bringing the ball down the field. Kate Gillette, number 19, there to stop him. Good defensive play by Kate McQuaid. Oh, that's a nice play by Kate Gillette. Getting it right back up the field to, to Claire Danahy. Claire's pass to Emily Dion. Got intercepted by a low red Raider. Now Lowell is now in front of the Chelmsford goal. Kate Gillette making sure it doesn't get there. Pass of the sideline long. Under 10 minutes left in the half. Score, zero to zero. Although Chelmsford has clearly controlled the ball down at the low end of the field. As I said, the seven seniors that they lost, quite a few were on an offensive position. I think that makes sense. Timeout is called. 
Perhaps they need a little bit of a break. Well, folks, on Monday of this week, Watertown Field Hockey lost their 184-game winning streak since November of 08 by losing 3 to nothing to Winchester. That is a long winning streak. Also, don't forget it's the CH Varsity football game tonight here at George Simonian Stadium against Westford Academy. Chelmsford won the first game last week against Acton Boxborough. Looking to go two in a row. Guess we should have a little shout out to Claire Danahy. She had a birthday this week. Happy birthday, Claire. Team's coming back out on the field. 8.56 to go in the first half. No score. Chelmsford ball being brought out of bounds by number five, Kate McQuaid. Nice pass by Lily Cardone. Pass out front. That was a nice save. Nice save by the little goalie. Eunice Tabia. Another corner. Emily Dion on the shot wide. Well, that's at least nine opportunities, not including any of the other shots on goal that Chelmsford's had. They really need to capitalize on that. Nice stop there by, by Ingrid Haywood. Emily Dion out in front. Stick handling it in. Emma Boulay with a nice pass, keeping it down in the little end of the field. Shot, shot by Riley Mitchell, just, just wide. Keep McQuaid's pass to Emily Dion. Emily shot again wide. Lot of opportunity. Oh. 
Westford got her got her hand hit with the shot by by Chelmsford. As parents, we've all been through it. That certainly smarts quite a bit. And our own injuries for Chelmsford last week. Senior captain Chelsea Cody got the scoring goal and unfortunately proceeded with a concussion. Another corner for Chelmsford. Lowell's pass couldn't be maintained in bounds, so it goes back to Chelmsford. We have yet another corner. We are now into double digits of corners for Chelmsford. Still in the first half. Emily Dion shot wide. Here O'Neill able to keep it down on the low end. Mamoule stick handling it in the front. And pass back to Kate Gillette in defense. Getting it up the field to Kate McQuaid. Kate McQuaid's pass to the middle. Couldn't be controlled by Chelmsford. Nice play by Lily Cardone. Keeping it in Lowell's end. Just about two minutes left in the first half. Still no score. Chelmsford still really controlling the ball in front of Lowell's net. And we have a corner.
Oh, there we go. That was a great shot. Ingrid Haywood with the goal, assisted by Claire Danahy. Well played. Well, when you have a dozen corners, you're bound to capitalize on one. I'm sure Becca Brown and assistant coach Chloe Hutchinson are looking for a few more than that. Again, with a team of very diverse seniors, juniors, and sophomores, you're in, in, in some, some sense of teaching, and these girls are really kind of playing very well together. Emily Dion able to keep it in the low end. And that is the half. With your Chelmsford High School Lions one, Lowell Red Raiders zero. We will be back after halftime. Hello folks and welcome back. The Chelmsford High School Lions against the Lowell Red Raiders. Second half with the Lions leading one to nothing. Lions clearly controlled the ball in the first half down at the Lowell Red Raiders end. Had a dozen corners. Well, the good news is in 2004 today, we had the NHL lockout, so at least the field hockey team doesn't have the lockout. Girls look like they're ready to play, even on a hot and steamy evening here in Chelmsford. Looks like Junior Ingrid Haywood had that out of bounds. Good stop by Ingrid. Emily Dion. Her pass to the right, hustled down by Kate McQuaid. Kate's pass over to Emma Boulay. Kate Gillette keeping it in the end of the little side. Big shot wide. Chumps are having a lot of shots on net, just not hitting the net. Again, the buses are actually pulling in. The Chelmsford High School varsity football is playing Westford Academy at home tonight.
Refs have been very consistent in their calls tonight. Nice hit by Sidney Alto to keep it up to the middle. Emma Belay's pass over to Emily Dion. Wade keeping the ball moving. Kate McQuaid's pass. Up to the middle. Stopped by the goalie. Eunice Tabea, the goalie for Lowell. Certainly having a, an active night. And she's played well. With only one goal. Lowell we'll bringing it up the field. Sydney Alto able to slow them down. What a night at George Simonian Stadium. Nice crowd, Friday night, nice weather. Stopped by Kate McQuaid. Good stop by Ingrid Haywood as well. A runoff by Lowell and Chelmsford. Sydney Alto with a nice hit back to downfield. Kate McQuaid keeping it in Chelmsford's possession. Only Dion's pass. Over to Claire Danahy. Goes wide. Chelmsford still maintaining the ball down this end of the field in Lowell's territory. Emily Dion with a shot. Saved by the goalie. With a follow-up shot by Allison Gillette. Allison Gillette in for the first time tonight. Sophomore. Emily Dion with another shot. That's a goal. Great shot by Emily Dion. Off the stick of Sophia Piper. Allie Gillette controlling the ball. 
Both Allie and Sophia on the field, sophomores. Nice to see Coach getting the, the play time for, uh, for many of the players, particularly on a night like tonight. It is steamy, hot and humid. Going to drain the energy even quicker. Keep McQuaid's pass and Emily D on. Emily shot. Deflected wide by Lowell. Emily working the ball in the front. Could be a bit of a warning there by the ref. Although it looks like Chelmsford's got a corner. Allison Gillette's pass into Emily Dion. Shots wide. Third of the way through the, the second half. Score Chelmsford High Lions two, Little Red Raiders zero. Pass to the front, saved by the goalie. Lowell will take it out. Well, along with Claire Danahy's birthday, certainly have to say bir happy birthday to Dan Marino. He turns 56 today. Kate McQuaid's pass over to Emma Boulay. Leads to yet another corner. I would suspect Eunice to be the goalie for Lola's had enough of these corners. Pretty strong speculation. Emily Dion's pass over to Claire Danahy. Shot in front. Emma Boulay. Couple of shots deflected by Lowell. Lowell clears it out. Claire O'Neill making sure that there's nothing close. Although that leads to a Lowell corner. The first one for Lowell this evening. Let's see how Chelmsford reacts after 14 corners.
Looks like they were able to clear it out. Keep Gillette 19, gets it, uh, gets it up to number 15, Sophia Piper. And they continue to keep the ball down the low end. Worked out well for Chelmsford. Jones for driving the ball down to Lowell's end yet again. I believe that's a cause for not giving enough room. Player's got to be five yards from the opponent passing the ball. Bit of back and forth here at midfield. Chelmsford right. now driving the ball upfield. Maintaining control. Leave that to be out of bounds on Lowell. Since pass in the middle. Broken up by Lowell. More than halfway through the second half. Less than 15 minutes to play. Score Chelmsford 2, Lowell nothing. This is the 15th corner for Chelmsford. Third this half. That to me looks to be a penalty. And I see Claire Danahy going off. But that could be wrong. Lily Cardone has come in to play. Kate McQuaid keeping it down the low end. Lowell not able to maintain their own pass. Maybe chumps her ball down their end. Ref suggesting that five yard rule.
A oh, nice stop by Kate Gillette. Passing it down to Lily Cardone. Lily keeping it on this end of the field. Claire O'Neill able to keep it down here. Emily Dion with the ball. Big shot by Emily. Oh, hits the post. She's had a lot of shots on net. That one hit the post. Riley Mitchell keeping it in the middle. Emily with another shot, but broken up by Lowell. Oh, the goalie had a nice save. That was at the goal line. That's a big shot by Emily Dion. She was determined. Had a lot of shots on net tonight. She made that one count. Well, with about 11 minutes left in the game, Chelmsford now leads 3-0. And they call a timeout. Well, I guess a little trivia for the fans that are watching this game. On this day, what happened with Cassius Clay? Well, the answer to that would be he renamed himself to Muhammad Ali. Need to keep yourself entertained up here in the press box at times. Well, I would say Coach Becca Brown is a little bit more comfortable with a score of 3-0. to zero. As I said, she's, uh, she's got a new style of coaching. The girls are really liking it. Certainly keeping them in, uh, in very good physical condition. And when it's this hot and muggy and, and you've been playing out in some of the sun that they have, this is where some of that really counts. those parents listening in there's certainly opportunity for the CHS boosters to help out during varsity field hockey home games over at the field house go on to Chelmsford's website and look for the boosters Here we go with 11.53 to play. Lights are starting to come on in the stadium. Chelmsford yet again with the ball in Lowell's end. Allie Gillette controlling the ball. Lowell bringing the ball down to Chelmsford midfield. Can they get it passed? Yes, 
Not yet. But the effort is there. A little surrounded by a pack of Chelmsford Lions. Girls really battling it out right now. Claire Danny, he bringing it in with a shot. With a second shot in the air. I think that that was called back. It was too high, either a high stick or too high. I don't think the ball can be too high. I think it was a high stick. It's a heck of a shot, though. Less than 10 minutes to play. Another save by goal Eunice Tabia. Claire O'Neill keeping things away from Chelmsford's end. Nice pass down to Claire Danahy. Claire bringing it down to the front of the net with a shot, and that looks like a goal. That was great stick work by right her. Right down to the goal. But with nine minutes left, Jones is improving their comfort zone here against Lowell Red Raiders. If they win, they move on to 5-0. and Impressive record for a new coach. Lowell continuing to play aggressively though. Cindy Alto with a nice stop. Bring it over to the middle, Emily Dion. Well, that's a shot in the front by new senior Maya Doobie. First year for Maya playing field hockey. She's a big lacrosse and ice hockey player. Came out for tryouts. I believe that's her, her second goal for the season. Good overall athlete. Emma Boulay able to stop Lowell trying to get it into Chelmsford's end. Kate McQuaid with a nice stop. Chomps would really maintain control of the game.
few whistles on the field. Clock's down to six minutes. Lines are up five to zero. Still very much in control of the ball. Danny, he had a nice pass over to Emily Dion, who had a nice reversal pass, hit the post, but believed it to be too high. I think we may be able to do a replay on that shot. Emily able to control the ball. Nice reversal shot. I believe it was the stick potentially of number six, Maya Doobie, that may have been too high. Regardless, it hit the post. It didn't matter. Nice shot, though. As you see, Emily, right there with a beautiful angle on her stick. That goalie had no way to be able to stop that ball if it was on net. Well, with less than five minutes to play, Chelmsford certainly looks in good position at a score of five to nothing. If Becca Brown can keep that intensity and energy with the, with the girls right now, it looks like they'll walk away with a win. Back to Kate Gillette. Second ball of Kate Gillette with two girls limping now. Kate's pass up. Kate McQuaid runs it down in the corner. Kate able to pass it over. Out of bounds. Continues to remain at the Red Raiders end of the field. Emma Boulay sends it in the middle. Shot by Maya Doobie. Unfortunately, hit the foot of Sophia Piper. A little bit of a collision there, girls seem okay. Clearly why you wear that protection. It's amazing, the only thing that these girls wear are the eye protection. Chelmsford been able to run the clock down right now. C 
certainly a strategic approach. Girls fine for position. Near the two minute warning. Kate McQuaid sticking with the defender. Offender, I should say. Oh, Maya Doobie. Strong shot from the middle. Nice save by the goalie. Another shot wide. Less than one minute to play, folks. Clock's running. Which is the nice thing about field hockey. Chelmsford keeping it down in Lowell's end of the field to make sure their own goalie, sophomore Olivia Diagostino, has yet another shutout. Well, folks, we are counting down the seconds here. Selmstreet continues to maintain control of the ball right till the end. Five. Emily Dion with a strong finish with three seconds left to play in the game. That's it, folks. What a strong way to finish. Your Chelmsford High School Lions 6, Lowell Red Raiders 0. That brings Chelmsford's record to an undefeated 5-0. And, and that's the game. Nice job, girls. Coach. We'll see you all at the next home game.